kitties show everybody the tubing that they need to get for their fountain. Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. Today I just wanted to talk about, because I've had a lot of questions about tubing for these small solar fountains that people get. Um, the thing is, the tubing, you really, really need to go to a, a tropical fish store, someplace that has fountain accessories to get the right tubing. Now, I did buy this online. This cost me about $9 and it's about six feet. So I'm not gonna use that much. I usually cut small pieces. But the thing is, all these little pumps that you all have, they're all different. Some of them don't have a spout. Some of them have a piece that fits in. Some of them have a spout. This particular one has a spout. I've got all kinds of different ones. Your pump, when you buy these small ones, comes with all these little sprayers. This, what these are, and we'll go through this on another video, is these snap on and they're really tough to put on but you snap them on and you get different spraying effects i really don't use them in any of my fountains because i'm just m making the water move so the birds come in and can take a bath but if you've got a big bowl because mine are smaller bowls if you've got a big bowl or a big pond then yes most certainly use them now this doesn't fit straight onto the pump See, this doesn't fit onto the pump. You've got to go through all the pieces. This is another sprayer, and that fits on top. Now, these two straight pieces will fit on. Again, keep in mind, not all the pumps are the same. Some don't have a spout. Some have a piece that fits inside. This one fits like this. See that piece, that tall piece? The small end fits in. And then on this one, this has this. So you have two pieces on this particular pump that will fit in. So what you need is a tube that's going to go either over this end, and this one does work. It's a very soft tubing, so what I do is I dip it in hot water, really hot water, and when it's real soft, I put it on, and it comes really snug on. It works really good. On this one, the way this one fits on, you have another opportunity. This is why you can get any you know, size tubing that will work with the pump. You have to go check. You could get a tubing that goes inside and you can put it in this way and really push it in tight. If you're just doing a small water movement, it will come through and move. The other opportunity is if your tubing is too big, you can fit it over. So different sizes can work for different pumps and different parts. So if you end up purchasing a tubing that's just a little too tight and won't go over your solar fountain uh, pump, then what you can do is use a hot glue gun. Watch here as I put in a straw, and you can do it with tubing. Roll it. It will stretch the end just a little bit, and then it should fit on your pump really good. Don't use a soldering iron. Usually that's a little too hot. You could try it, but it's usually a little too hot. Hot glue gun works perfect to stretch tubing. As far as this, this one fits on this one. See, they're all, it's like a puzzle. You have to kind of play with them all. This one goes on this way, and then this one, nope, that doesn't fit on there. So this one, go, it's like a puzzle. This one goes on this way. Let's see, that goes in there, and I'm not even sure which way this one fits. Nope, that doesn't fit on that either. So let's see which one this fits on. This one fits here. Which means that fits on, like I said, it's a puzzle. This one fits on there and that still doesn't fit. So that's interesting. You gotta figure out how this one fits on. Because this fits on this. Oh, there it is. So that goes on like that. So like I said, you gotta play with it. You got different pieces. You could also get a tubing if you can get a tight tubing to fit in there. So what you wanna do is bring your pump with you to a tropical fish store. They, they have a lot of different tubings and make sure you have somebody help you pick it out and then make sure you're putting the right end on the pump because if you measure and get this side and it fits this way it may not work so you want to make sure you put the right piece on and show them you need something that's going to fit over this piece and see this one will fit it just i usually run them over warm water well there it is see it's on and that's what you want, something that's going to fit over one of the pieces that goes on the pump. Now, with this one, because it's got a spout, you could also use it that way. Because this particular pump has a spout, but not all of them have that little spout. 
So that's, that's the only thing I wanted to show you, and that's what you're looking for. So you're making sure that doesn't fit. You're making sure whatever piece goes on, you either get a tubing that goes over, or I'd rather on them go over because you'll get a tighter fit. But see, this one goes in really tight too. And if you have a little bit of a problem, it almost fits, just put it in some boiling water and let it sit for a minute and pull it out. It'll be hot, but you can maneuver it and you, you know, get it in there and it will work. So you've got different opportunities with a couple different size tubings. But this one did work on the newest ones that I purchased and that was really, really good. But that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a tubing that's going to fit on one of those. For the standard solar kits that we're all getting, the smaller one, this has been to me the best price. This size has been working for me, so double check yours. My end part that goes on is 5 16 That's the inside dimension. And for 10 feet, $11, free shipping. This has been, for me, the best price. Now you can go and get a smaller amount at the hardware store, but they have it for free shipping and it's been working really good for me. These I rarely use. Now, a few of you have said that the water pressure is too much and it's going over out of your ponds. I'll tell you what you can do on that. You can take a hot needle or a soldering iron and you can make one or two of the holes a little bigger. Then you'll have more water coming out of those holes and less pressure to cause a big spray. You'll have less spray. If you make the holes too big, it's just gonna dribble off the top and then you'll be back to just having a regular you know, just kind of flowing. But if you want to use them, just make the holes on top with a hot needle. This is just plastic. Since you have so many, and you're going to experiment, try with whichever one maybe you don't like the most and start it that way. And then you can create a small spray, but not going so far past your bowl so you're not losing the water. Because of course, if it sprays past the bowl, well, then you're going to run out of water and you'll be running your pump dry. And you don't want to run these dry. They can burn out if you run them too long. I'll tell you the truth. I've run them dry all day and I have yet to burn one out. But you don't want to do it. It's still not good. So yes, make the holes bigger. And that's it. So there's, like, like I said, different ways of getting it. Check out your aquarium store. Check out your local big pet store. See if they've got a tropical fish section. And you will have to go in and test the tubing and see if it will work for your pump. Not all these little pumps are exactly the same size. I found some a little bit different, but if you can get a really soft tubing like this, you can finagle it. If the tubing is just a little too big, let's say the tubing slips off, what you can do here, I'll show you a little trick, and it, will, it works really good. Secret on masking tape, masking tape is waterproof but only if you start out dry. So when the pump is completely dry and your hands are completely dry, you can take some masking tape. This is green masking tape, but you can use whatever masking tape you want. You can wrap that around. Try not to get it where it's gonna block the hole at all, but wrap it around. Then what you can do with the tubing that's a little too big, you can force it on. Once, see now it's going to be real snug. Once it's on, it stays pretty waterproof because I use it all over the garden. I've got tubing, tubing. I've got masking tape all over behind me that's over a year old. But if your hands are wet, it will ruin the glue right away and it won't work. But see, look at that. So that's the way to work with tubing that's a little too big. Can you mask, you know, use masking tape to tape it on? You probably can. You can, you can do that too. But, you know, I don't know how long it will last for, and if it comes off, then you just change it. So that's just some hints and tricks that you can do with this. But that's it. That's all you've got to do. And you can use, like I said, masking tape. Another one that will work is, it's called paper tape, and that's for people, like when you cut your hands. I love that stuff. But if I cut my hands, I put some paper tape on. That's waterproof. That literally stays on until it practically wears off. You can use paper tape, too. So if you've got paper tape, Go ahead and use that. Eat that will work too. But that's it. So I hope I've given you some tips and ideas if you didn't know. And these things are just a blast. I love these. And look at this. You just put them all over the garden. And you've got fountains all over my garden. 
with these uh, water fountains and they are wonderful. Just make sure if you're buying them right now at this time of the year that you're getting them from within the United States because if they're being shipped from out of the country, it can take up to three months and by then summer could be over and you may not want it by then. So keep an eye on the date of arrival. If it tells you you're not going to get it in a week or two, don't buy it. Look around and find somebody that tells you your date of arrival once you pay will be about a week and then you should be good to go. With that, I think I've answered a couple questions on that. This is how I do it and it works great. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.